there is a temple called Vallabai Ganapati temple from my home through that way only I have to go to that VDS Jain school where I used to study. It's near a cinema theatre called Pugar Cinema Theatre. In those days the cinema, cinema theatre was there. Now I don't think the theatre exists. And the Sanidhi Thiru, the straight street in front of the temple, there is a temple called Vallabai Ganapati Temple. Those days there used to be an old lady who used to make idlis and sell outside the temple on the street. Every day she will be ready with the pack of idlis tied in banana leaf and small vessel with sambar. When I go to school, without forgetting, even a single day, she will give that for me. And many days I will not go to school. She will come in search of me, where I am. She knows my regular hideouts in temple. Either under the, in temple there is a banyan tree, under that banyan tree I will be there. Or in Kritike Mandapam. She will come regularly if I don't show up by 7.30. See, 8 o'clock the school starts. 7.30 if I don't show up in that temple. She knows I am not going to come to school. By 8, 8.15 she will start walking. And by that 8, 8.15 our business also will settle down. Morning will be, it will be done. So she will come and hand over the idli and her sambar to me. Then she will go around the temple and go back to her temple. She used to live in that temple. And then she will have two sessions. Morning one session making idli and selling and evening bonda. She will start preparing for her evening sales. I don't remember her missing this even one day till I left Trivannamalai. Maybe you guys will be fortunate that still she is alive. If you guys go to that Vallabhai Ganapati temple, her name is just the local village name Idli Party. That's the name I remember. She had a small shop. There's every possibility she may be still living there and making the making idlis and selling. Because in Thiruvannamali people don't die so easily, so quickly. They live for a long time. My mother's mother, I think last six or seven years she was diagnosed with cancer. No treatment, nothing. I just gave my hand key to her. She is using my hand key under her pillow. That is the only treatment. No other medicine, nothing. She is still living. She is living. No chemo. Nothing. No surgery. Nothing. I have seen her mother alive. Thiruvannamali people don't die that easily. They live for a long time. I have seen at least 50 people lived more than 100 years. 50 people, men and women, lived more than 100 years. And at least 100 people who lived above 95. Like a, they will die after 95, before 100. 100 people I have seen. 50 people I have seen who lived above 100 years. In Trivannamalai village alone. I am not talking about outside. Just in Trivannamalai. I have seen at least 50 enlightened beings. Radiating Paramashiva. Living in Trivannamalai. That ecosystem is symbol of enlightenment, health, longevity, all the best things I am radiating, I am teaching to the world. Forget about all the stories you are going to hear, all that is one side. That very air you are breathing for seven days is extreme blessing in your life. The ultimate blessing in your life will make you all experience 
द पॉजिटिव एक्सप्लोशन परमशिवा इज एक्सप्लोडिंग एज दिस बीइंग नित्यानंद परमशिवा 